Hello and you are very welcome back to DaVinci Resolve A to Z, your one stop for all things DaVinci Resolve. And this is DaVinci Resolve Quick Tips, so let's just jump right in. In today's episode, we're going to look at the best and most foolproof way of installing a font into DaVinci Resolve. So I have a text layer here and some text in there and we click on font family and we are just going to hit N to snap down to our fonts that begin with N and you can see we've got three fonts there and none of them are called Nicholas and Pine um, because that's the font we want to install and just to show you that it's not currently in there and that this method works. So if I come over to my downloads here, I've downloaded this font Nicholas and Pine so let's click in here. So the first thing you need to know is that DaVinci Resolve accepts true typeface font files. Um, so a, t a .ttf file, this one here. Now that's great, this particular font, when I downloaded it off of dafont.com, there's a link in the description, if you like this font, you can go and grab that, um, has a .ttf version. If you find a font you like and it only has the OTF file version, you can still use that. What you have to do though is uh, upload it to a website. There's plenty of them out there um, that converts to .ttf file format for you. So you can just go ahead and convert it and still get a TTF version of it and still use that font. So there's three kind of different ways to install. Uh, one is to right click and simply click install or when you open up to view the different uh, kind of variations of the font, which is quite common, there is the installer in here as well. But I would recommend you don't use either of those because I've had many situations where the font still does not show up in DaVinci Resolve. The trick here is to right click and install for all users. And as you can see by the icon here, this is an administrator uh, command. And by doing this, I've never had a problem with installing a font. So we'll go ahead and do that and let that install. And that will do it as administrator. So we can get rid of that. And the next thing you need to know is you will need to reboot DaVinci Resolve for that to take place. So just to show it one more time, I'll hit N. Uh, we still don't have that font named Nicholas and Pine showing up in Resolve. So we'll reboot and we'll come back to it and we'll see that it is installed. So with Resolve rebooted, let's go into our font family here. We'll hit N and here we have Nicholas and Pine installed successfully and there you go. So I would recommend using this technique to install a font uh, rather than uh, trying the other methods to find that after taking the minute or two it takes to do this whole process to find that it didn't successfully get recognized by Resolve. Just go straight for um, install for all users and that forces it to be an administrator command and there you have it, a font installed at DaVinci Resolve, quick and easy.